Windows 10 is now a year old, and Microsoft is celebrating the milestone with a free anniversary update, available on August 2nd. It's not a huge update that will change the way you use Windows, but it has some pretty neat additions that more than 300 million Windows 10 users will enjoy. Here are the top 10 new features coming to Windows. First up is Windows Ink. While Windows has always had inking support for years, Microsoft has created a dedicated section for it in Windows 10, complete with a sketchpad, sticky notes, and the ability to quickly sketch on a screenshot. The best part is the new virtual ruler that lets you draw straight lines and shapes. Apps like Office and Maps are also going to have Windows Ink support, and third-party ones will get updated in time with all the new features. There's still more to do to improve Ink support in Windows 10, but Windows Ink is a good start. Microsoft's Edge browser is finally getting extensions. They'll be very similar to the extensions that you use in Chrome, and a few like Adblock, LastPass, OnePassword, and Evernote are already available. Expect to see a bunch more hit the Windows Store in the coming months. You'll also get web notifications in Edge, allowing sites to integrate alerts with the Windows 10 Notification Center. Microsoft's digital assistant, Cortana, debuted on Windows 10 last year, and the software maker is bringing it to the lock screen with the anniversary update. You'll be able to ask it to make a note, play music, set a reminder, and lots more without ever logging in. There's a new dark theme with the Windows 10 anniversary update, and it makes the OS feel a little more complete in terms of the overall UI. Microsoft has also tweaked the start menu, notification center, taskbar, and the system clock slightly with improvements that make Windows 10 just that little bit easier to use. Live tiles now have deep linking, which means you'll click on an app in the start menu and head straight to the live tile content you saw within the app, rather than just opening the app to its home page. Setting your time zone automatically is really minor, but it's also a big deal if you travel a lot. Microsoft has finally added the ability to set time zones automatically, so no more playing around with your clock manually if you're heading off on vacation. Windows Hello lets you log in with just your face, and compatible PCs will get new support for apps and websites with the Windows 10 anniversary update. You won't need your password for websites if you have a new PC that supports Windows Hello. You just sit there, let it scan your face or fingerprint, and then you're in and ready to go. Windows 10 apps are finally here on the Xbox One. We've been waiting for what feels like years for these apps to arrive on the Xbox One, and it's finally happening with the anniversary update. We're expecting to see a variety of apps, and hopefully some new additions that really make sense for an entertainment and gaming machine. If you're a developer, then Bash on Windows 10 is a big deal, but for everyone else, it's something you really won't use. Microsoft is essentially adding the Linux command line to Windows 10, and it's a great addition for Linux developers that need access to all of their tools on Windows. Microsoft has created an entirely new Sky Pack for Windows 10 anniversary update. It's not totally feature complete just yet, but your basic Skype video and audio calls work really well. It launches instantly, and you'll get notifications for calls and messages straight within Windows 10. And finally, one of the best new additions in Windows 10 Anniversary Update is the ability to mirror notifications from your phone. Windows 10 Mobile and Android phones are supported, and you'll be able to reply to messages, dismiss notifications, and send photos from a phone to a PC really quickly. As you've seen, most of the additions in the Windows 10 Anniversary Update aren't exactly groundbreaking, but altogether they make for a solid number of feature additions that will cater for nearly everyone who uses Windows 10. This is how Microsoft plans to update Windows going forward, so expect to see more similar feature additions like this later in the year and beyond. Windows is now a service and Microsoft is really updating it like one.